Dear friend, welcome to Fisher's Bite, Daily Lenten Reflections by Holy Spirit Interactive. I am John Roger Anthony. Today we look into how the gift of fortitude from the Holy Spirit enables us to strengthen our relationship with Jesus. Acts of the Apostles chapter 5 verse 27 And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in his name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. My dear friends, the gift of fortitude is the ability to continue to do the good that we are supposed to do and ignore the evil that we should ignore even when we are in the most difficult situations, situations which might even lead us to death. Most of us know the story of St. Maximilian Kolbe, who knew that he would be killed, he would be shot if he goes and helps the person who was desperate to live and did not want to die. In spite of that inevitable danger, mortal danger, St. Maximilian Kolbe goes and helps that person and volunteers to be killed in his place. He was killed by the Nazis. This is the gift of fortitude. So let us ask Jesus, the season of Lent, that we may never fail to do the good that we are called to do for the glory of God and we may never fail to reject the evil that we are called to reject in this world for the greater glory of God. God bless you.